Hey guys, so it's still the first month of spring here in Australia. We're going to be checking out our yellow hive. Yellow hive is a Demarade hive about four or five weeks ago. So we'll be checking out the brood, having a quick look at the honey and going from there. So let's get into it. This brood box has had a fair bit of overwintered honey in it. So we'll pop out a couple of frames, see how they're going. So it looks like there's a good amount of nectar in this frame, a little bit of pollen as well. You can see they've started to cap those cells. There's not an enormous amount of bees, but I might sort of expect that being that we did a demaray about four weeks ago. The purpose of this inspection is also just to check for any American fowl brood. I'll be doing inspections on all my hives. We had a couple of cases of that last week on our top bar hives and it looks like um, these ones you know could potentially be exposed to the same thing american fowl brood is transmitted through wax mm -hmm. bees and honey so if you use the same hive tool on all your hives it's a potential that you've infected all the hives you might notice with my hive tool that it's quite charred i threw it in the fire for a while while i burnt the top bar hives hoping that that would probably, you know, kill any infection that was on that hive tool. So we're not going to look too much into that honey box. We'll look into the brood frames now. I've still got these plastic frames in here. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. I'm sort of just seeing how the bees react to them. As I've said in other videos, I haven't had great success with them, but I'm just going to try, see what happens. So I'll pop this one out, see what they've done with it. And look, as to be expected, there's not a lot on there. I've rubbed wax on those prior to putting them in just to give them a bit of a helping hand. And I've had these for about three seasons, these plastic frames. So I've had no success, but that doesn't mean that uh, they're no good. It might be just my beekeeping. So this outside frame, it's a lot of drone cells on this. I'm not too worried about that. You know, different people say drones are good. Some people say drones are bad. I think the bees know what they're doing, so I'm just going to leave it up to them. There's a amount of eggs in this side and some cat brood. And, yeah, not a great amount of bees, but there are some bees on there. Sort of brings up a concern that maybe they had swarmed. So you can see a little bit of larvae in the bottom there. I don't think they have swarmed. Maybe there was a little bit of a brood break between Demaray. But we'll pop this one out and have a look. Wow. So there you go. That's a good indicator of just how well this queen has laid out this frame at least. You can see there's a few unlaid ones there. They may be failed ones. It sort of raises suspicions that it could be American fowl brood. But when I have a bit of a closer look, I can see there's no perforated cells. And there's plenty of eggs and larvae in those hatch cells as well. So that's not a bad thing. This next frame, I believe, was the original frame out of the other brood nest. So you can see there's been a couple of cycles of brood. The outside is the original brood. And then the inside is the newly laid brood. So the pattern's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. And the queen has back laid all of those cells. So there's a good amount of larvae and eggs in amongst those. And again, I can't see any perforated cells. So there's a possibility that this hive in this state hasn't actually got American fowl brood, which for me is a bit of a joy. So this frame here has got a little bit of drone brood at the top. But the rest of it looks pretty good. So there's, what, three, there's four frames of brood in this hive. So they're doing okay. There doesn't seem to be any sign of disease. So the plan is to let this hive build up over the next week. And as we're still in the first month of spring, it'll, it should have a fair bit of brood to bring in some nectar in the coming weeks.
Now, I just spotted the queen go between the wax and the bottom of the frame. So if you'd like to have a bit of a look, maybe you could pause, rewind, see if you can find her. Let me know in the comments what colour she is. But yeah, she's a bit of a hider, a bit difficult to find. So I think I might uh, give up on looking for her. In this second last frame, there really isn't a lot of work on here, which a bit of nectar, a bit of pollen, but it brings up a little bit of a concern that realistically this beehive is only five frames of brood wide, and those black foundations are probably hindering them a little bit. So a little bit of a concern, one to watch. I think there's a lot of bees in this hive, but there were more bees in here pre-demaray so i'm just going to keep an eye on them uh, and see how they go so you can see that black foundation not a lot of work done on that one either so what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to actually pop a black foundation in between the brood nest here just to see if they'll start working on it get them to draw it out hopefully the queen lays some eggs in it and the hive starts to expand a little bit good conditions few rainy days here and there but good conditions for beekeeping so that's about it for this one so i'll pop a bit of smoke on them the queen excluder is stuck on the bottom of the top box so i'll pop the top box straight on pop the hive mat on and pop the lid on as well so thanks for watching please subscribe if you like our videos